Welcome to What, Why and Where series. Today we'll talk about IoT. Now IoT stands for Internet of Things, right? And you can see everywhere we are getting this term called as IoT, IoT, IoT. And in fact, we have IOET, IOET also now. Now why it's so important? Now just imagine there was a time, you know, way back when you had a phone and you had a machine and you cannot connect your phone with your machine, right? Because there was no connectivity as Bluetooth connectivity, there was, there was not no Wi-Fi, it's just a normal Nokia 1100 phone and your desktop. Then we got a time where you can connect your desktop with your, uh, with your mobile phone or maybe you can, you can connect your laptop with your mobile phone so that you can control your mobile phone's operation from your laptop or you can, you can control your laptop operations from your mobile phone, right? Because they are connected now. Just imagine at your home, if everything is connected, fr start from your tube light, your AC, your refrigerator, your maybe your desktop, your shoes, electronic shoes, so everything will be connected. And if you want to connect all these devices, we require a connection, right? We require a network between them. Now we have a technology where you have multiple devices connected to each other. Example, you can control your AC, which is, uh, with, you can control your AC temperature with your mobile phone. You, you, we have infrared sensors. Now it's not just about sensors. It's about, let's say you want to control your AC. You're, you're not at home, you're in your office and you want to control your home AC temperature. So you can, you, you can even do that with if your mobile phone is connected with your uh, AC, right? Now your AC needs a unique IP address. Of course, right? Because to connect your, your AC on internet, you require unique IP address. That means your phone knows about the IP address of your AC. Your AC knows about the IP address of your refrigerator. Now, let's say we have one more example. Let's say if you're going, going, uh, going inside your house and suddenly if you open the door, automatically the light should be on. And once you go out, the light should be off. How to do that? Again, we can use your IoT. Now all these various sensors are connected together to generate huge amount of data and all this data is stored on the server and again that's why we have a technology like big data right again you can uh, I, I hope you have watched my video on big data so we have already talked about big data amount of data so technology specifies that everything at your home doesn't matter if it's your tiffin box or not if your tiffin box you have your scissors you have your bag your water bottle everything will be connected on internet so every device needs a unique ip address and that's why we require ipv6 now right we, we have we have gone the days we have ipv4 now we are working with ipv6 so everything will be connected with internet now if you think this is very awesome right you can you can search for your socks so let's say you have you forgot your where is your socks you can search your socks from your mobile phone your, your, the location of your socks from your mobile, mobile phone awesome right but there's a huge risk here the risk is now let's say uh, you have a good infra at your home you have you have all the things connected and in your laptop you have something very secure data maybe you, you have your confidential uh, company data in your laptop and suddenly every, someone tries to hack your machine. Again, you will say, no one can hack my machine because my machine is uh, secure with a firewall. You are using world best firewall, right? It is secure. But just imagine, uh, some, someone hacks, hacks your uh, AC. Now, now, your AC will not have a firewall, right? Anyone can hack your AC. They can control your te room temperature with, with, uh, with that uh, uh, hacking tool, right? But the thing is, you will say, oh, it's okay, right? And if someone is controlling my room temperature, it will not affect my laptop, right? It may, because both these machines, which is your AC and your laptop, they are into same network. And firewall works for the outside network, not for the inside network. Maybe you can configure your uh, firewall to work on inside network, but let's say you are not configured that, you are working only with outside network. Now someone will hack your AC and then from your AC, they can hack your uh, laptop. And that's the risk with IoT. So yeah, it's a very good technology to work with, but there are some certain drawbacks to, uh, you know, to solve. So yeah, that's that's IoT for you. Everything will be connected with internet, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.